And I want to look at the idea of the matrix inverse. When I'm talking about numbers, we have this idea that a times 1 over a is the same thing as 1 over a times a is equal to 1. Now that I have an extension for the idea of 1 in a matrix, I want to find the extension for these inverses. Given a matrix A, I want to find a matrix B such that AB is equal to BA is equal to I, this identity matrix. This is known as the matrix inverse, and it's denoted a to the negative 1. Actually, doing this calculation by hand can be really long and annoying. It takes a lot of work to do this by hand. So instead, let's look at how to use MATLAB to do these problems. Here we have our MATLAB. I'm going to define a matrix A. To define a matrix, we start with a square bracket. We enter our first row, let's say it's 1, 2. We use a semicolon to indicate we're going to the next row. And we'll make our next row negative 1, 4. And then we'll close the matrix. We can then use IA for inverse. And we'll type it as INV of A. This is our command for the inverse. And we can check what's, I, what's A times the inverse we get the identity, exactly what we expected it to be. I can define another matrix B. We'll let this one be 1, 5, and then 6, negative 3. Once again, we can find the inverse, but we can also use all of our other operations that we have been talking about. We can add our two matrices. I can multiply by a scalar. You see if you type in 4a, you get an error. You actually need to type in 4 times a to get the appropriate term. So we can still do all of our operations. We could find a times b and all of these other things. For one more example, I'm going to let c be 1, 2 and then 2, 4. I now want to define the inverse of C, and I get an error. Essentially, not every matrix has an inverse. Some matrices don't have an inverse. When we're dealing with numbers, the only number that doesn't have an inverse is 0 because we can't divide by 0. But in matrices, there's going to be a lot of things that just do not have inverses.